Hey, welcome back to the Missouri Sports Network at MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage. Brought to you by Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks, Great Southern Bank, Dope Propane, and Labor's Local 663. And this is our Athlete of the Week segment. We go north to Kansas City, and this is the second time we've been at Lincoln College Prep High School, but we welcome in a cross-country coach, uh, Marina Lopez, and Isaac Rivera. Coach Lopez, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you very much for having us. Well, Coach, uh, first, let's talk a little bit about the program. Uh, you guys, uh, you've, I believe you've got a match or a run or race Saturday at, at Rockbridge, uh, if, if I'm not, if I'm looking at that correctly. But just briefly kind of tell us how the season's gone so far for the uh, for the boys and girls cross-country team there at Lincoln College Prep. So this has been probably the season where we've had most meets in comparison to last year due to COVID. And we've had, I would consider for our team, a very competitive uh, meet schedule. We've been running at pretty big meets and we have uh, some big meets following up this weekend. We go Saturday, actually, we go to the Gans Creek Classic out at the University of Columbia, um, which is considered, that's probably considered one of the biggest meets uh, pre-state and also it is known as a pre-state course so we are going there this weekend to compete on Saturday we um, have been placed in the white division this year and uh, we also the next weekend we go to the Kansas City Metro uh, Classic out at Ray Peck as well and um, on the boys and girls side you know we, we put together a system in which we're seeing the times dropping at the right time um, Isaac dropped probably the most significant amount early season, basically a minute and four seconds for, for his first meet at the Greg Wilson Classic, the first meet where he broke the school record. And um, for our girls too, we've seen many PRs, one of our team captains, she's dropped about, I, I want to say about two, two and a half minutes already from her best PR uh, last year. So it is a program where we are trying to continuously um, put our runners through wherever you left off, start right there or make sure that you start at a drop. But um, for our program and the two coaches that I get to work with, Coach Ryan Wolf and Coach Eric Reynolds, um, we really like to emphasize the importance of continuity and maintaining runners healthy throughout the season. Like I would rather have an athlete compete nine meets than have them for two or three meets, but they're not as healthy as they need to be. So that's something in our program that we like to emphasize keeping them healthy um, we have a strength and conditioning coach who is coach Eric Reynolds and um, I'm more of a mid distance coach, but when it comes to long distance, I do believe that the summer mileage is very important and our, our team has had most of our success has been from from our runners that have put on that mileage in the summer so um, we're excited to continue growing as a program and it's been my this will be my fifth year here and. I can say that I'm very proud of the the coaches that I get to work with and really the runners are the ones out there doing the work that we ask of them. So we're very thankful for them. Again, we're visiting here on the Chevy Leaders of the Ozarks Athlete of the Week segment with Maria Lopez, head coach, uh, Lincoln College Prep Cross Country. And uh, coaching, you mentioned this is your fifth year there. Uh, how did you get involved in coaching? Uh, where did you cut your teeth, so to speak? Or were you a runner? Um, and how did you get involved? And how did you end up at Lincoln College Prep? So I did run um, it's a while ago. I mean, I still, I, I do it more recreationally than anything, but um, I did run. And when I was asked here to um, coach at Lincoln, it kind of came out of, um, it was just a conversation with my vice principal. And he said, I noticed on, on your, on your CV or my resume that, you know, you put on there that, 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 that you, that you ran. And I was like, yes, I did at both high school and college. And then he asked, well, we have a vacancy for the middle school cross country opening. And I interviewed with, um, at the time that the head coach and he brought me onto his staff. And after that, it's been, um, I was involved. I previously coached soccer at other schools and also was, um, on volunteering on, some, on a cross country team, but it really wasn't until my first year here where I started to develop a cross country system. So, you know, your first year when you're as an assistant head coach or middle school coach, you're just kind of observing seeing what you're doing. So there was a lot of observation from my end, but um, overall, the more I was here, the more I realized there are things we need to implement. We need a summer running program. Like we need to put that in writing somewhere that these kids need to be putting miles in the summer. And um, 
then, you know, it's gotten to the point where it was two coaches on staff. Now it's three of us on the staff and I'm, um, I'm very excited to be a part of it. I also coach, I'm part of the distance team for the track and field program as well. Um, and I've been also doing that for now five years as well. Right. Well, Isaac, uh, first off, on behalf of uh, Great Southern Bank and Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks, congratulations on being named Thank a, you. you bet, Male Athlete of the Week. Take us back because you, you set the record and then you broke the record. Go back to the original 1626 that you ran. Where was that? And uh, and when was that? And was that the first meet of the season? That was the first meet of the season. What was it? Shawnee Mission Park? Yeah, Shawnee Mission. Shawnee Mission Park. And, yeah, that was the first meet of the season. So you break the Kansas City Public Schools record. Uh, not, not Lincoln College Prep. This is the entire Kansas City Public Schools record. You break that. Uh, you know, did you know in that race, did you feel good? Was it a course you were comfortable with? Um, did you know early on that did you really feel well? Obviously, you, you must have felt good to get that kind of – they'll put that kind of time up. It sounds crazy, but my legs were a little bit sore going into the race. And I went into it, and I really just kind of held on to that front lead pack, and that's really what brought me there. Now, take us back now to this – this past week where you, where you break the record again, break your own record. Um, you know, tell us just about the race and were you up front all the time? Obviously you're with the lead pack, but when did you decide to maybe take, uh, you know, take the lead and, and try and break the record? Or did you know I was coach, I, I, you know, I've been to several cross country races and I've got coaches and people all around uh, the course are kind of feeding you your time or telling you to move up or keep pace. What was that like just throughout that race? <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Well, in that race, I remember everything was kind of lined up. Everything, my legs felt great. I felt great. I, I knew my fitness was there. And when the gun went off, we were off at a very fast, fast pace with the, everybody was like really clumped up. It was a really crowded race. It was a lot, a lot of competition. There's Rockhurst. There's um, Lee Summit North, Blue Valley. Just a bunch of good people, and they carried out that first mile. Like I said, I'd hang on to like maybe top ten is where I consistently hanged on to. It was like a big, big group of people, and we came in through the mile at a very fast pace of like four minutes and. 58 seconds and then we really kept on moving up we kept on passing people and people were falling off on that second mile came in through the second mile around 1009 and then that last mile that we really slowed down everybody did because everybody was tired and we need to we need to get some energy for that last sprint at the end and uh at the end I think I did get passed by one guy but overall it was a really good race take us back you know, how did you get involved uh, in running how long have you been doing it and what and what is that um you know because people don't do what you've done without really enjoy really enjoying it what is your your focus and what do you most enjoy about about racing well i think like I, I'm going to start with uh, the how I started running, then I'll go into that. Um, so I started running in like seventh grade, I think. Um, I remember my sister was going out for cross country and it started as like a sibling rivalry. She'd like brag to me about how she ran like three or four miles that day. And I just, I'd want to like, I want to compete with that. And then I joined uh, my middle school's team, Academy of Lafayette, and really the coaches there brought me to where I was freshman year. And then freshman year from there on out, I just grew as a runner as I did more mileage. And I feel like I like running because it just, it gives you a sense of accomplishment of happiness no matter as long as you give it all you're all on race day it's all you can do that's what keeps me happy 
well, and there's that certain aspect to much like there is with wrestling or, or tennis, so to speak, where it's, it's all on you. Um, you know, this isn't a relay. It's, it's up to you to do it. Um, kind of give the, the viewers an idea. How many miles do you put in, in the off season, uh, in a week? Are you running a hundred miles a week? Are you running, you know, more or less? Well, I usually, we usually like to not go since I'm a sophomore, I don't really do like crazy, crazy mileage, like 80 and up, but in December I'm planning on running two 60 mile weeks. And last summer, I think I hit like a, a 54 mile week where, where I do like two runs a day and track work as well. And again, we're visiting with Isaac Rivera, Chevy dealers of the Ozarks male athlete of the week. Isaac, uh, uh, broke his own record uh, in the Kansas City public school systems there at 16, 16, 18 um, in a cross country meet. Isaac, give the give the viewers an idea. Of what do you do? I mean, how do you prepare? And, you know, for, you know, you've got the uh, Rock Bridge coming up on Saturday. What are you doing right now to get your body ready for that all the way up between now and the race? Well, yesterday we had a hard workout, a couple, like I'd say, three days before you want like a hard workout. Now we're just tapering down. We're starting to get easy mileage in trying to reduce injury, massage muscles, stretch, all that good stuff. And then the night before we'll eat a bunch of uh, complex carbs. We'll get good night's sleep and just hope for the best on race day. Yeah. That was one of those things kind of drew me to, you know, racing was the, was the, was the spaghetti nights the night before uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> that'll keep you involved. Uh, do you have, you know, do you have, you developed a rivalry now? I know you're, you're younger, you're just sophomore. You have guys or teams that you really enjoy performing against because maybe they push you uh, to be your best and in a rivalry, I don't mean anything, you know, negative or silly, but you always look mm -hmm. for, you get up for those races. Yeah, there's, I feel like there's a couple, just like any, like, Rockhurst has some good runners. I let, they push me, I push them. Um, Smithville, we haven't raced against them, but they sound like they have some really good runners that we want to compete against. Um, who else? Like Platt. Platt County, we, we, we're competing against them. Yeah, um, we want to take another district title home. Very good. Very good. And Coach, uh, Coach Lopez, he mentions districts. Where where will that be run and who's, who's you know, maybe some of the teams in there that maybe will uh, kind of challenge for that district championship? Yeah, so we, our district championship will be held at uh, the Lee Summit North uh, High School on their course. That's where we had actually the meet where Isaac uh, PR'd with the 1618. Uh, districts will be he held there for class five, district four and class four, district four, where we are at. And Isaac did mention some of the teams that, you know, we're, we're preparing for, and I'm sure they're preparing for us as well. Um, Smithville, um, Platt County, uh, Kearney, uh, very good cross-country schools, Excelsior Springs, and um, a lot of the uh, schools competing are within the metro area too, Raytown, Ruskin, uh, Raytown South, and Fort Osage as well. So we, we definitely want to be – Ment mentally focused as a team to make sure that you know especially on the on the boy side that we run well and even for our girls we want them to mentally prepare as well to do as best as possible to to compete and contend well outstanding well isaac once again congratulations on behalf of chevy dealers of the ozarks chevy dealers of the ozarks athlete of the week from lincoln college prep and coach lopez thank you again for being generous with your time uh, i know you're in the middle of school but uh hey it's always good to kind of catch up and and uh isaac i hope we get to visit again and and best of luck here as you go through if you break the record again we'll just have you on again just keep breaking it all right <laughs> thank you all for right. having thank us thank you you bet you bet you guys have a great day you're listening to the missouri sports network here powered by kick 92.3 and we'll be back after this